Imagine the perfect coastal main drive, mile after mile of undeveloped ocean vistas, and as often as not, all to yourself. A lunatic fantasy, right? Not so on the Skudik Peninsula. The Skudik hangs down into Frenchman Bay, just east of Mount Desert Island, home of Acadia National Park. But few of the three and a half million annual visitors to Acadia realize part of the park is an hour away on the Skudik. 2,400 acres of wild forest land and protected coastline. This is the only section of Acadia National Park on the mainland. There's a lot of similarities between the Acadia section on Mount Desert Island and the Acadia section here on Skudik. You have wonderful places to bike, you have wonderful places to hike, you have places to camp. The biggest difference? No crowds. The Skudik section of Acadia National Park receives just a fraction of the park's total visitors. They leave us off maps even. You know, when you look in National Park maps or in Moran McNally maps and look at the National Park and Skudik's not included. We put that right in that bag. Peter Drinkwater of the Winter Harbor 5 and 10. We have everything from A to Z, aspirin to zippers. Drinkwater says there are pluses to life here on the quiet side of Acadia. A drive along the Skudik National Scenic Byway, no stoplights, no stress, makes his case. In addition to the National Park, the Scenic Byway passes through several small villages on the peninsula. It starts in Hancock and goes to the village of Prospect Harbor here in Winter Harbor and goes down through like 20 miles of just some of the prettiest coasts on the coast of Maine. And if you've forgotten anything along the way, chances are Peter Drinkwater and his old-fashioned 5 and 10 can help you out. With a store of three wonders. You wonder if I have it, I wonder if I have it, we all wonder how I find it. If the Skudik Peninsula has an unofficial ambassador, it might just be Larry Smith. Uh, if I was living, you won't find a better place to have a home. And I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Smith is a property manager for some of the larger estates in the area, but he's invited us out to one of his smaller properties, the lighthouse on Mark Island at the mouth of Winter Harbor. Smith restored the derelict property in the 80s and has been keeping watch for the owners ever since. One of the most photographed and painted lighthouses probably on the main coast. It's one of the nicest spots on the earth. Uh, and the sunsets here are gorgeous. Smith is from nearby Cherry Fields, and yes, in case you couldn't tell, he's lived here all his life. So far, as Mainers like to say. You can tell by me that I'm a real down easter. <laughs> Just listen to me speak. Once you have it, you cannot get rid of it. <laughs> I found that out. The humble lighthouse, now owned by a designer from New York City, attracts some high wattage personalities. There's been some interesting people come here to visit. I've met Martha Stewart and had some experiences with Martha Stewart. Regrettably, Smith is struck by a sudden attack of discretion and clams up on his celebrity dish. Still, if the glitterati make an occasional appearance on this rugged coast, it's the region's raw, unadorned beauty that's the real star here on the Skudik. I would say Skudik Peninsula as it is now maybe was a little bit more akin to how Mount Desert Island was maybe 20 years ago. This is the best part of the whole Acadia Park. Don't you find it very peaceful over here? Well, if it's Acadia, it must be time for the usual pronunciation debate. You heard our park ranger pronounce it Mount Desert like the Sahara, but Larry Smith out at the lighthouse insists locals have always called it Mount Desert. Dessert, that is. And back to the Winter Harbor 5 and 10. They have a new item in stock since we first visited. Face mask. Next, local delicacies on the menu.